Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jennifer Slattery, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse. Ephesians 2.14 Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. As women of Christ, we may be on the same path, but our journeys are rarely the same. Join me, Catherine Calabeo, as I interview inspiring and encouraging women who share their stories of faith on the Sparkle Speak podcast. Hear from real women who share real stories about things like beating cancer, moving across the country, working in ministry, and becoming mothers. Every courageous and uplifting woman I speak to not only discusses the most powerful moments of her life, but also sheds a light on the lessons she learned. To start listening now, go to lifeaudio.com. Today's Bible verse is Ephesians 2, 14. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. I recently learned of a church that allowed the intense rivalry between two schools to hinder the gospel. Now think about that for a moment. Their hatred for one another over something as arbitrary as school attendance, past or present, kept God's children from sharing the gift of life with those who, apart from Christ, were headed for hell. That's the equivalent of driving by a smoking car, knowing people are trapped inside and the vehicle is about to blow, while holding the crowbar that could set them free, but callously passing by. Now, granted, that scenario might seem a bit extreme, but it illustrates a sad reality. We humans like to categorize and separate ourselves, don't we? Drawing lines between those who have and don't have, who are and who aren't. Sadly, we have a tendency to make ourselves feel better by viewing others as less than. We've all seen the hurt and the ugliness that comes from elevating ourselves at the expense of others. But Jesus tears down all of those sinful barriers and commands us to do the same to view one another through what unites us rather than what could easily divide us. And this was precisely what Paul, the author of today's verse, a first century evangelist, what he aimed to do. During a time when Jews and Gentiles despised one another, Paul sought through grace to bridge the gap mankind's sin had created. Reading his letter to the Ephesians, some 2,000 years removed from the time in which he wrote, we can easily miss the significance of this. We might assume Paul's actions led to little more than inconvenience, until we read the historical account in Acts 21, which tells us about a time when a mob nearly killed Paul because the people thought he had brought a Gentile into the Jewish-only portion of the temple. Scripture tells us that some Jews, intent on causing trouble, shouted, Fellow Israelites, help us. This is the man who teaches everyone everywhere against our people and our law and this place. And besides, he has brought Greeks into the temple and defiled this holy place. Acts 21 verses 30 to 32 states, The whole city was aroused, and the people came running from all directions. Seizing Paul, they dragged him from the temple, and immediately the gates were shut. While they were trying to kill him, news reached the commander of the Roman troops that the whole city of Jerusalem was in an uproar. He at once took some officers and soldiers and ran down to the crowd. When the rioters saw the commander and his soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. In Galatians 2, we catch additional glimpses of the racial tension raging during this time when we read about how Peter 
an apostle and church leader, treated Christ following Gentiles. In chapter 2, verse 2, Paul wrote, speaking of Peter, quote, when he first arrived, he ate with the Gentile believers who were not circumcised, but afterward, when some friends of James came, Peter wouldn't eat with the Gentiles anymore. He was afraid of criticism from these people who insisted on the necessity of circumcision, end quote. How sad when such division occurs within the church and such sinfulness is practiced among God's redeemed, especially considering, as today's verse states, Christ himself broke that wall and by grace made those once considered unclean as all humanity, Jew and Gentile alike were, now considers them clean, purified by the blood of Christ and adopted into one highly diverse yet supernaturally bound family. And Paul was tasked with spreading the news, with changing culture, breaking down barriers to his own harm, and proclaiming to all who would listen the power and the reality of God's grace. This was one of the reasons the Jews got so riled up whenever Paul spoke against circumcision, because that was the act more than any other that had historically separated the Jewish people from everyone else. Were they to lose this or find the ritual stripped of its significance, they would also lose the standard by which they deem themselves superior. But as scripture states in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. When we live As if this were true, when we come together in love, we become a beautiful display of the diversity of God and the uniting power of the gospel, which means every time we break down man-made barriers, we advance God's kingdom. We bring health to our communities and joy to our Lord. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for sending your son to break down the barriers that we in our sin erect between ourselves. Please forgive us for seeking to make ourselves look better by making somebody else look inferior. Please forgive us for every time we categorize people, every time our pride causes us to elevate one people group, one demographic, one culture above another. Convict us in those times Fill us with your Holy Spirit. We know that your Spirit always points towards unity in the gospel, life in your Son, and love for all humanity. So fill us with that. Remove our sin, remove our pride, and fill us with your love and your grace and your power. Thank you again for sending your Son to not only break the walls that we erect between one another, but also to tear down the barrier that our sin created between us and you. Thank you that we are now reconciled to you as your children. Lord, you have given us the ministry of reconciliation to be barrier breakers, to be wall destroyers. So ignite that passion within us. Help us to be alert to times when we can share your truth, when we can build a bridge, when we can display love, and when we can be instruments of your life-changing grace. It is in the name of your Son, our Savior, Lord Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app, so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! 
Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. If you find yourself wondering how to get through the day and how to actually live out a life with faith when it is confronted all the time by the world around you, which looks really different than often your faith life does, well, then you may find yourself in need of Girl Club. I'm Cynthia Garrett, and I hope that you'll join us every week right here on Life Audio because we're just a bunch of real girls having real talk about real issues while applying real faith.